wake up. up. It's Hot 96.9's Ramiro, Pebbles, Melissa, and Wiggy. We were just talking about hip-hop beef, and now in studio we have a gentleman who's trying to smooth it all out. It's Hot 96.9. Jay Prince, uh, CEO of rap a Records. It's going back back in the day to the Ghetto Boys. So you were in, you were actually speaking at the uh, at Harvard, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a ball over there at Harvard. Yeah, you have a book out. It's called The Art of Science and respect yeah and when it comes to science and respect uh, this gentleman right here tried to tell biggie and and diddy not to go to la back in the day imagine if they listened to wow. him wow i'm a huge biggie fan i wish he would have listened yeah you, you should have tried harder man yeah. you, you, advise, yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> like you can what? only do so much you like snap yeah. your plane tickets do <laughs> right. something you, you advise drake not to go push a t yeah yeah Definitely. I mean, I, I, I like how you're telling everyone not to beef, but no one's listening to you, man. What's going on? <laughs> well, that's not the case. But uh, <laughs> I, I wish big of them would have heard me. You know, I uh, I, I kind of at least felt that happen. I turned my bus around. I, I was almost in Phoenix, and I turned my bus yeah. around just to go back and tell them, man, it's, it's not a good place to be. Get up out of here. So did you tell them, you said it's like it's dangerous for yeah. you to go there right now? Yeah, I definitely made that clear to Puff. And then I went on the bus with Biggie and said the same thing. And, you know, I, I don't think they felt that way or they wouldn't have been there. Yeah. What What was his, his response right. when, well, when you were telling him that? Well, you know, it was almost as if uh, we got you. We all right. You know yeah. what I mean? They felt that it was cool. Now, so what... W I think hip-hop beef now is a little different than back then. It's not as... I guess it's not as violent. Although you had Soft. Cardi B yelling at Nicki Minaj over the weekend. W what's your take on that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know all the ingredients that go along with that beef, but, uh, you know. Beef, I can tell you. <laughs> tell me about okay. it. Okay. It involved the shoe. Somebody uh, <laughs> was talking trash on social media to Cardi B saying she was a bad mom or something like that. Nicki was supposedly liking comments and from she, people that she, she was a bad it. mother. And it's she, very 2018. She, yep. she, she, yes, she liked the comment, you know, that basically, you know, it was saying that Cardi B was a bad mother. They saw each other at a party. Cardi Fashion B took week. a shoe off, went to throw it at her, wow. started talking. I got some audio here in case you want to hear it. Hold on a second. Here's Cardi. <laughs> Nikki didn't do anything, but somehow Cardi B ended up with a knot on her head. Security, mm. like, yeah. elbowed her in the head. Yeah. So if you could sit down and talk to them, what, what would you say? Well, maybe I would take them in the gym and let them get a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> you know That's what, what I'm mean? saying. Yeah, and we could film it and, yeah. and, and they could make money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all get that over with. It wouldn't take long. Yeah. Yeah. But ultimately, how do you feel like this type I mean because there's a lot of people have been talking over the weekend since this, this since this happened like how do you feel this reflects on hip hop as a whole I mean it, this isn't a good look well no I mean these type of things are going to exist in hip hop as long as hip hop exists so mm. you know I, I don't expect differently but it is a way uh, art and a science of handling and dealing with these kind of situations right but how much of it is like real and how much of it is like phony and made up because you, when you think of when you talk about the Tupac Biggie beef like that was real beef there was no way in hell even if they you know were both alive I couldn't see these two getting on stage hugging it out and you got like Meek Mills hugging it out with Drake and you know and now you got the whole Nicki stuff how much of it is like real beef and this is just all made up through you know the entertainment of hip hop well, one, one thing about beef, it can go from zero to 100 at any moment because of the people that surround these individuals. You know what I mean? Whereas you may be looking at Cardi B and Nicki, it's mm -hmm. those that surround them where it can take off and turn into a, a life being taken. But do you still feel that the people that are surrounding... See, I feel like the people that are surrounding them uh, are kind of still like fraudulent in the sense that it's it seems like it's all made up nowadays for like to move record sales or to, you know, promote whatever albums they're coming out with. Yeah, but I, I know personally that it's a few real street mm -hmm. individuals that's mm -hmm. in those camps and it could go somewhere. So you're thinking that it's the people they surround them with are kind of escalating the situation in a lot of well, in a lot of cases. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the foundation is there for it to go from zero to a hundred. It can't right. go there. 
Right. It starts off. It's almost like when friends start kind of snapping at each other. And all of a sudden, like one dude's like, hold on a second. Now you just Mm -hmm. went a little too far. And then they start throwing punches and stuff like that. Right. What's the book about the art of science and respect? Well, the art of of science of respect is uh, my autobiography of my life. You know, Mm -hmm. I had an opportunity to share my wisdom, my knowledge, my understanding on uh, how I was able to turn nothing into something. You know what I mean? I was able to accomplish a lot in, on my journey and in my career uh, in the entertainment business as well as my life, you know, my struggles and different things uh, where my life is concerned. And I laid it all out from A to Z. Jay Prince, he was the first boxing manager for Floyd Mayweather Ooh. Jr. Now, do you still contact him? Because I feel like he's somebody who sometimes he says things that it might not be directly at somebody, but a group of people might want to... Um, if they see him in public, might want to, you know, yeah, yeah. say something or you do know, something. I, <laughs> I definitely had fun with Floyd, man. I managed him for four years, you know, laid, uh, helped lay the foundation that he eaten off of the day. And he and I, we still uh, conversate, communicate. That's my homie. Yeah, have you ever, like, had to be like, Floyd, you're going a little too far with this or that with anybody because he's had beef with countless of... Well, everybody. I mean, I mean the, the guy's a boxer. Cent, the 50 cent one right now. Is, <laughs> he's a boxer. But at the end of the day, let's be honest, Floyd is winning. As much money as he makes, he, he's winning. Yeah. Yeah. No, he, you definitely can't deny him winning. You know, he win in the ring and look like he win out the ring. But me and myself, I don't have a problem with telling no man the truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? We have had private conversations. So there's been a lot of, like, you know, you've seen the New Edition story, the Bobby Brown story. You know, there's a lot of things coming out. Are you now with this book, you're going to parlay it, any movie uh, opportunities? Is it going to be like the J. Prince movie? Yeah, most definitely. That's a, that's a goal. You know what okay. I mean? And I've definitely been entertaining conversations of bringing that uh, into fruition. And it's just a matter of time. Excellent. Well, yeah. the book, it's out now. It's called The Art of Science and Respect by Jay Prince. The dude's had quite a life, quite a career. Thank you for coming in. Uh, hey, this pl- early, privilege and honor. Wake, Wake up. up. It's Hot 96.9's Ramiro, Pebbles, Melissa, and Wiggy.